The third step in building these shelves is to drill holes through the particle board for the threaded rods. Now let me show you how easy it is to drill holes through particle board using any of the tools we described earlier. Let's take a look at this. When choosing the location to drill the holes, use a washer for a reference to know how far from the edge of the shelf to put your drill marker. If the hole is too close to the edge, then the washer will overhang. It's better to place the hole so that the washer is either flush with the edge of the shelf or move it in about an eighth of an inch. Now use a felt permanent marker to indicate exactly where the hole is going to be. You can add in a crosshair to help guide you on where to place the tip of the drill. Do this for all corners of the shelf. Use a firm grip on the drill to keep it vertical. When using a spade bit, it's important not to twist or tilt the drill as you're going through the material. You can hold the drill close to help keep it steady. Apply an even downward motion and let the drill go through the material. You can see that I've clamped my shelf onto the extended platform that I've attached to the drill press. Line it up so that the tip of the drill will meet the intersecting lines of the crosshair. Use a steady force to guide the bit down and through the material. The drill press will get through the particle board with very little effort. Here I'm using a Forstner bit. The bit has a large surface area, which causes a lot of friction and heat. Use a steady force to guide the bit down and through the material. The Forstner bit will create a very clean and accurate hole in the particle board. To ensure all the holes are aligned vertically, use the first shelf as a template. Place it flush on top of the other shelves and then trace the position of the holes using a felt tip marker. This is a quick way to recreate the exact position of your drill markers on all the other shelves. On a side note, if you happen to create any chips in your particle board, here's a technique you can use to cover up and disguise them. Use a product called a fill stick, which is basically a crayon that matches the color of the particle board finish. Alternate colors to create a blend that is seamless with the surrounding finish. Wipe off any excess with a cloth. With this simple technique, the chip has been masked and is no longer visible. Now we've covered all the steps to build one of the particle board shelves. You can use this process to build the number of levels needed for your audio shelf design.